Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1704, the Apalachee Massacre results in the destruction of most of the Spanish missions in Florida. In 1751, the first performing monkey in the United States is exhibited in New York City. Admission is one cent. In 1755, Moscow University is established on Tatiana Day. In 1765, Port Egmont is founded. It is the first British settlement in the Falkland Islands at the southern tip of South America. In 1791, the British Parliament passes the Constitutional Act of 1791, which splits the province of Quebec into Upper and Lower Canada. Also in 1791, the first bank in the United States is chartered. In 1799, the first federal forestry legislation authorizes the purchase of timberland. In 1804, Thomas Jefferson is nominated for U.S. President at the Democratic-Republican Caucus. In 1836, Samuel Colt patents the first multi-shot revolving cylinder revolver. Also in 1836, showman P.T. Barnum exhibits African-American slave Joyce Heath, claiming she was the 161-year-old nursemaid to George Washington. Just wow. In 1837, the first U.S. electric printing press is patented by Thomas Davenport. In 1847, the State University of Iowa is approved. In 1855, the Bowery Boys gang leader, William Poole, also known as Bill the Butcher, is shot in the back by his arch rival's gang and dies March 8th. In 1862, Congress forms the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing to print the newly issued U.S. paper currency. In 1870, American clergyman, educator, and politician Hiram Rhodes Revels becomes the first African-American to serve in the U.S. Congress. In 1873, extraordinary tenor Enrico Caruso was born. In 1875, the Kiowa Indians and their leader, Lone Wolf, surrender at Fort Sill. In 1881, Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell form the Oriental Telephone Company. In 1890, Nellie Bly completes her round-the-world journey in 72 days. In 1901, the U.S. Steel Corporation is organized under J.P. Morgan Sr. In 1904, the Stanley Cup is played. The Ottawa Silver Seven sweep the Toronto Marlboros in two games. In 1908, the first tunnel under the Hudson River opens. In 1913, the 16th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which permitted a federal income tax, went into effect. In 1915, Alexander Graham Bell inaugurates U.S. Transcontinental Telephone Service when he calls from New York to San Francisco. In 1918, Ukraine declares independence from Bolshevik Russia. And tragically, just yesterday, February 24, 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. The history of these two countries just does not stop. In 1919, the League of Nations is founded. Also in 1919, Oregon is the first state to tax gasoline. It was one cent per gallon. Or you could go see a monkey. In 1924, the Winter Olympics opens in Chaminade, France. Also in 1924, Marie Boyd scores 156 points in a Maryland high school basketball game. The final score was 163 to 3. You gotta wonder, was she that good? or was the other team that bad? In 1925, Glacier Bay National Monument is established in Alaska. In 1932, Austrian immigrant Adolf Hitler gets German citizenship. Nope, he wasn't German by birth. In fact, a Belgian study suggests he had Jewish and African ancestors. In 1937, the Guiding Light soap opera debuts on NBC radio. In 1952, it moved to CBS television where it ran until September 18, 2009. In 1940, today was the first televised hockey game, the Rangers versus the Canadians. In 1941, Pope Pius XII elevates the Hawaiian diocese to become the Roman Catholic Diocese of Honolulu. In 1943, Beatle George Harrison was born. In 1945, World War II's Battle of the Bulge ends. In 1947, the German state of Prussia is dissolved. 
Also in 1947, Thomas Goldsmith Jr. files a patent for a cathode ray tube amusement device, which is considered the first ever electronic game. In 1949, at the Hollywood Athletic Club, TV's first Emmy Awards are presented. In 1950, Your Show of Shows with Sid Caesar and Imogene Coco premieres on NBC TV. The writers include Mel Brooks, Neil Simon, and Woody Allen. In 1956, Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev denounces Joseph Stalin at the 20th Congress of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. In 1957, Buddy Holly and the Crickets record That'll Be the Day. In 1960, the National Association of Broadcasters reacts to the payola scandal by threatening fines for any disc jockeys who accept money for playing particular records. In 1961, in Washington, D.C., John F. Kennedy delivers the first live presidential television news conference. In 1964, Muhammad Ali becomes world heavyweight champion although he was still called Cassius Clay at the time. In 1968, the 10th Daytona 500 is run. Cale Yarborough wins by less than a second. In 1969, the Beatles begin recording the Abbey Road album. Also in 1969, West Germany gives $5 million to an Arab terrorist as ransom for the passengers and crew of a hijacked jumbo jet. In 1971, Charles Manson, Susan Atkins, Patricia Krenwinkel, and Leslie Van Houten are found guilty of the 1969 Tate LaBianca murders. Also in 1971, O Calcutta moves to the Belasco Theater in New York City for 1,316 performances. In 1972, Paul McCartney releases his Give Ireland Back to the Irish single. In 1973, Mexican serial killer Juan Corona is sentenced to 25 life sentences for 25 murders in California. Also in 1973, Stephen Sondheim's musical A Little Night Music premieres at the Schubert Theater in New York City and runs for 601 performances. In 1974, Veronica and Colin Scargill of Great Britain begin a tandem bicycle ride around the world and pedal for a record 18,020 miles. They completed on August 27, 1975, and never rode another bike again. No, I made that part up, but that is a lot of pedaling. In 1977, an oil tanker explodes west of Honolulu and spills 31 million gallons. In 1979, Pope John Paul II starts his first official papal visits outside of Italy. In 1980, the British political comedy Yes Minister premieres on BBC Two. In 1981, Jiang Qing, the widow of Mao Zedong, the former leader of China, is sentenced to death. Also in 1981, an earthquake registering 6.7 hits Athens, Greece, killing 16 people and destroying buildings in several towns west of the city. And in 1981 as well, the 23rd Grammy Awards air. Christopher Cross and Billy Joel are winners. And another in 1981, the NHL's most penalized game is today. The Bruins and the North Stars rack up 84 penalties for 392 minutes. In 1982, the final episode of The Lawrence Welk Show airs. In 1986, Corazon Aquino is sworn in as the 11th president of the Philippines, becoming the first female president in Asia. Also in 1986, the 28th Grammy Awards air. We Are the World, Sade, and Phil Collins are winners. In 1987, in a 5-4 to four vote, the U.S. Supreme Court upholds affirmative action. In 1989, Iran's Ayatollah Khomeini offers a $3 million bounty for the death of the Satanic Verses author Salman Rushdie. In 1990, during a BBC interview, rock star Stevie Nicks breaks down saying that she will never have children and that no man can stand her for very long. In 1991, the defense treaty between eight communist states called the Warsaw Pact is disbanded. Also in 1991, Bruce McNall, Wayne Gretzky, and John Candy by CFL's Toronto Argonauts. In 1992, Muddy Waters wins the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 34th Annual Grammy Awards. In 1993, the Florida Marlins introduced their mascot, Billy. 
In 1994, Israeli doctor Baruch Goldstein kills 30 unarmed Palestinians in the Mosque of Abraham. Also in 1994, the Clementine space probe launches. In 1995, Russia almost launches a nuclear weapon attack after it mistakes a Norwegian research rocket for a U.S. Trident missile. In 1996, Billy Bailey becomes the last person to be hanged in the United States. In 1998, during an historic visit to Cuba, Pope John Paul II demands political reforms and the release of political prisoners while condemning the United States for isolating the country of Cuba. Also in 1998, Pamela Lee has her husband Tommy Lee arrested on assault charges. In 1998 as well, Switzerland's first legal brothel opens in Zurich. In 1999, a 6.0 magnitude earthquake hits western Colombia, killing at least 1,000 people. In 2001, one of the greatest players of the 20th century, Australian cricketer Don Bradman, died at the age of 92. In 2004, the Opportunity rover lands on the surface of Mars. In 2006, Mexican professional wrestler Juana Barraza is arrested in connection with the serial killing of at least 10 elderly women. In 2013, at least 50 people are killed and 120 people are injured in a prison riot in Venezuela. In 2014, 50 students are killed in a Boko Haram attack on a college in Buni, Nigeria. In 2015, at the Brit Awards today, the best single goes to Uptown Funk and best album goes to X by Ed Sheeran. In 2016, Seth Rogen and Lauren Miller are honored by Unite for Humanity for their work promoting awareness of Alzheimer's. In 2018, the 23rd Winter Olympic Games close in Pyeongchang, Korea. Norway wins a record 39 medals, 14 of them are gold. Also in 2018, China briefly bans the letter N as part of widespread censorship efforts. Why does that make me think of Sesame Street? In 2019, the influential film review site Rotten Tomatoes implements changes after internet trolls target the Captain Marvel film. In 2020, Iran emerges as a new COVID-19 hotspot after reporting 95 cases and 11 deaths today, and their deputy health minister is also confirmed as infected. Also in 2020, 147 murders occurred during a five-day police strike in a city in Brazil. And lastly, in 2021, more than 200 prisoners escape and 25 people are killed at a prison near Port-au-Prince, Haiti. So that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You really, really should watch more of my videos. So I put some right there in front of you. You should watch them. Go ahead. I dare you. Do it. <laughs>